Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another one of my course vlogs. We're out here at the beautiful Eagle Falls here in Indio. This is the Palm Springs area. If you've never been out here, the Coachella Valley is absolutely packed with golf. There's many, many in the playlist down below. Hey, if you're new to the channel, subscribe and like the video. We'll see you out there at number 10. Here we go. Number 10 starts off back next to the driving range and parallels it going straight north towards those mountains. Another wide open fairway here, and as we come into the green, that bunker short of it is also elevated, protecting the green from your line of sight. Over the bunker and down to that simple green, find the whole location and you'll have yourself a good look at it. Just trying to keep this one on the planet here with no rough out here at Eagle Falls. It's easy to find your ball and get a great lie out here in the wintertime. Now here, this was a gap wedge into the green just past that whole location, about 25 feet here for birdie. And it was not meant to be. Speed was good though, rolling that putt out just past the hole. That's what we like to see. We can have a nice comfy tap in par and head down to a very awkward hole. 270 yards in a par four. This has a tiny little fairway and an even smaller sliver of a green down there. Now we had a back hole location. So this thing was playing about 280 yards but only about 250 to that front edge. Now 255 is the distance I like to hit that two iron that was in my bag a while back. And I tug this one just left of the green, just pin high. It would have fluffed this one out of the rough, almost down into the hole. But man, that ball rolled out to an unfortunate 18 to 20 feet and I was not able to convert. Another comfy tap in par. We head down to number 12. There's a lot of par fours to start this back nine and they are all pretty different from one another. 12 is a long dog leg to the left. That water on the right shouldn't come into play off the tee, but into the green, it is right there to swallow up any bad shots that are short and right. Now with all that fairway out there to play, I tried to cut the corner a little bit to give myself a great angle and was able to successfully do so. Put the ball in the short grass here, or as we can say, the fertilized grass. Don't trust that shot tracer there. Unfortunately, I chunked this one just a little short right of the green and it was in that fluffy fairway again, able to get a nice easy bump and run on it with the 56 degree knock it on up there and knock it on in for the par again. Hole 13, it's gotta be one of the coolest holes on the golf course. All the tee boxes are wrapped around this lake and look at this, you've got nothing but water to carry all the way over there to the fairway. It's about 230, 240 yards to carry from my tee box, which shouldn't be much of an issue for me with the driver. Just banging on down there and into the green, it's blind over that hill of bunkers if you don't get it too far down the fairway. If there's ever a hole that sets up beautifully for my cut, it's right here. Now there's something about trying to vocalize your shot beforehand that really gets me into the groove. So I think we're gonna start doing that more and more especially down on the course. Be the right distance, please. Oh. Just barely was able to hang on to the green here, pin high from 20 feet. Speed is still correct, just rolling out past these holes, but I just can't get that ball to drop. Now we head across what was going to be a street and into what should have been a neighborhood, but it's not here. So we're still just playing straight through the desert, but these holes, 
the rest of the way are pretty isolated here. A dogleg left par four. You, what you see is what you get. Bunkers left and right all the way down there. And a smaller green perched into a hill that is elevated terrain all the way around it on the back. Now, when you get out here to the end of the golf course, it's just gorgeous. If you get a great date, man, oh man, it's really like being in an oasis. A simple wedge into this green. I was really feeling these clubs and hitting them close all day long. I mean, we're playing in a box out here with no wind. You see ball, hit ball, and it's just like driving rain shot after driving rain shot. But when you get to the green, you got to get that ball in the hole. We all know putting is definitely one of my weakest parts of my game, but we're just going to keep on keeping on here. A short, drivable par four here. Lots of bunkers down there and a very narrow target, but we had a front right hole location. If you're willing to take the shot and bring that water into play with it, you can get it close. Should be right next to the green. Right next to the green. Well, it was actually in the back oh. bunker. A tough bunker shot from the downhill lie. I was able to knock it to about 10 or 12 feet and just couldn't get the putt to drop. Again, of course. God, this is oh, watching this footage is making me cringe. I gotta get the putts in the bottom of the cuff. Now this back nine is almost all par fours and only one three and one five. Here is the par three, only 185 yards from the tips. That is a smooth seven iron right to the middle of the green. This was another chance at a birdie. Oh, just trickles right. Am I over reading the putts, under reading the putts? Maybe I can't read them. Maybe I can't hit them straight. Either way, the ball's not going in the hole. 17, another par four, and finally the last of the day. Under 400 yards here, but it's uphill into the green. It's a tough one here. Lots of bunkers down the left-hand side of this hole. You wanna be down the right, which is really gonna be a tough approach into this elevated green. Trying to play the big cut here once again, it just didn't come back enough for me and was in the fairway bunker. A tough, tough situation here, about 140 yards, which is just under a full pitching wedge for me. So I hit that pitching wedge and uh, hit it a little bit short because you catch it a touch fat and you are really, really fat. From just under the hole here, I hit a awesome chip shot to three feet. It was given to me by my playing partners and we can move on to the only par five on the back nine and the closing hole here at Eagle Falls, a short par five under 500 yards it's really time to feast as you come into this hole. Now it's a par five because of this difficulty into the green, lots of trouble as those palm trees down the right really narrow down the approach. And this boomerang green is fully surrounded by trouble, water left and bunkers right, especially with those falls right behind the green. Now another cut off the tee. This looks like a very narrow driving area, but there is a lot of room out there to play. And this was only a nine iron into the par five. The wind's gotta hit it right. If that wind hits it right, that's perfect distance. Yeah, that's perfect distance, there we go. Nearly go in the hole here. Perfect distance just off the green and a little chip shot with the 60 degree. Oh! 
Yeah, baby! Subscribe, like that video, and we'll see you next time. Later.